What's good everybody? How you guys doing? Sam Fossil Manu back again with another Dumpster Finds video. Downstairs, kicking back in the dungeon, watching me some Dragon Ball GT. Uh, this stuff I'm about to show you, it's actually stuff that I found uh, <laughs> over two weeks now. Um, I skipped making a video for this stuff because I came across that really big ass um, field destroy haul where I found those Call of Duty Ghost Turtle Beach headsets still intact. I got the box on display downstairs here, but I got the actual headsets hooked up to my PS3. And another uh, YouTuber commented on my video, um, my uh, Field Destroy Hall video. Another YouTuber commented about the uh, Turtle Beach Call of Duty Ghost headsets. Um, this YouTuber said that I could use it for the PS4 as well. So after this video, I'll go ahead, uh, go upstairs and give it a try, see if it'll work. I was just going off of um I was just going off of what the box said. You know, it, the box basically mentioned it said a uh, free use of uh, or with basically mentioned every system except for the uh, Xbox One and PS4. But if if in fact I can use it for my PS4 then then I'm hooking it up and I'm using it for my PS4. <laughs> but uh yeah. So I got a few things to show you. Like I said, it's stuff I found two weeks ago also included are some um, um, thrift store purchases and a Best Buy purchase plus some posters so this might be a long video maybe not maybe it will but oh well so let's go ahead and start I'll go ahead and start with my uh, Best Buy purchase earlier today I went looking for another PS4 game um, I still have my Killzone Shadowfall. I passed that one, uh, the game, uh, a few days ago. I liked it. Um, I still have the uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. I'm still playing that one. I think I might be on the last mission though, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to go and you know look for another game. And there, there isn't a lot of games out there for the PS4 yet, um, or. Yeah, well, that doesn't make sense. There isn't, there aren't a lot of games out there right now for the PS4. But um, there are enough games to keep you busy. One of the games that I was interested in, um, hoping to find, was the uh, PS4 version of um, the Tomb Raider. Um, I went to Best Buy. I, I could have checked a couple other places, but... Um, me, my wife, my son, we had some other places we had to get to. So I didn't want to take too long looking around stores and stuff. So I went to Best Buy. Uh, they they didn't they didn't have it. But I just ended up picking up um, Madden 25 for the PS4. As you can see, it says $59.99. But the cool thing is, if you remember my video I posted when I, when I purchased my uh, PS4 from these guys, I purchased that bundle. So I have that rewards card, points, and whatever. And so it, it knocks the price down quite a bit for games for the system whenever I go back. I can go back and buy games uh, for the PS4 and, and, and uh, accessories. And uh, they'll take a good little chunk off of it because of my rewards card and, you know, all that stuff that I bought with the bundle. But yeah, I got the Madden 25. I, I'm a big fan of the series. I know not a lot of people... That are really that are really in the gaming like sports titles. Believe it or not, I'm actually not a big time gamer. I you know I could care less about the the next coolest game. If there's something that I like, um, I'll I'll wait. You know I don't have to have it just yet. Um, but yeah, I, I like sports titles. Every now and then, whenever I get a chance to play a video game, I will. But I'm not really hard up on a having to play a video game and all that stuff. Even the headsets that I got, the uh, Call of Duty headsets, I mean, I don't think I was ever going to purchase headsets uh, for myself just because I'm not a gamer, you know? I, I'm not the uh, sit in front of the video game console and TV with the headsets and the t-shirt and all that stuff. I, you know, 
if I have time to play a game, I will. But uh, enough of my rambling on. <laughs> so I got Madden 25, sticker price $59.99, but check the uh, receipt out. This was the original price that it came to for me for, because of my rewards and stuff, $37.99. But because of the tax, $256, it came up to $40.55, which is still, there it is, I saved $22, bucks. It's still not bad, you know? So I got that. Um, when my wife and son go to sleep, I'll probably pop this in and, and play it. I got some uh, thrift store purchases, some uh, uh, freaking, um, what am I trying to say? Super Nintendo uh, cartridges, ah, carts, carts. <laughs> so I picked up Pilot Wings for five bucks. <coughs> Uh, it's got some damage on the uh, sticker art right there. I haven't cleaned it off yet. It's a little dirty. Uh, all the pins are there. You probably can't see because the lighting's crappy. But I remember this game. I remember growing up as a kid playing this. So I got that. Um, another Super Nintendo game. This is uh, WrestleMania, the arcade game, when it was WWF. See, so you got Razor Ramon, Bret Hart. Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker. Uh, same with the uh, Pilot Wings. A little dirty because I haven't had had a, a chance to clean it off, but all the pins are all there, all intact. And the last one I picked up was a uh, Foreman uh, for Real boxing game. Uh, also five bucks. A little wear and tear as well. All of them have some wear and tear on them. This one's pretty disgusting, as you can see right there in the corners. The pins are all intact, but the corners look like someone used this to wipe their ass or something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, five bucks. So I spent I spent a total of fifteen bucks at the thrift store for three Super Nintendo games to add to my collection. Now on to uh, the uh, GameStop dumpster finds. Found two of these uh, game case holder things for the Nintendo DS. Which is cool because I'm starting to accumulate quite a few uh, Nintendo DS games, not from purchasing them, but, but from finding them in the freaking dumpster. So I could use this and put the games in there. I also found this UMD um, disc case, the GameStop brand. Um, everything's in perfect shape, you know, nothing's wrong with it, it's not cracked. Open it like right there. You can hold, uh, yeah, it just holds like two. Which is cool because in that Field Destroy haul I found, I believe it was two of uh, these UMD discs. Uh, I could use this to store them. So I got that. Found this Nyko rechargeable battery. I think this is, um, it said for the Xbox or, oh it's just a battery. So Nyko battery. I found another one of these, uh, this is just a pamphlet that goes with it, this Battlefield 4 controller box, uh, nothing's in it, this was actually outside in the GameStop bag, um, I, I found quite a few of these already, so I'll probably just, I don't need this, I'll probably just toss it in the trash, um, found another Wii stand, uh, let's see, Found this Office Depot stamp in the GameStop bag. Has a little smiley face for you guys. Hey! Uh, let's see. One of these, another one of these uh, charging dock, dock charging station stand things for a Nintendo, Nintendo 3DS. A bunch of books here and magazines. This one says it's for the PS Vita. Um, someone's phone number on there, give them a call, say what's up, <laughs> but got that, got one of these, one of their in-store manual type things, it's got Fable Anniversary on, on this side, I, I guess that's like part of the game too, um, found two of these, I think the first person that I seen found books like this is uh, Sean Clark, shout out to Sean Clark. So, uh, one of these PlayStation books, you know, they're, they're both the same, so nothing fancy schmancy on them. And then this, um, 
this uh, visual reset and standards book GameStop Xbox One and PS4 this had some water damage as you can obviously see I had to let it uh, dry out but yeah got that again shout out to Sean Clark check him out another youtuber doing his thing dumpster diving I'll leave his uh, information in the description below let's see over here found a few games mixed in with a couple cases that only have um, manuals found this uh, Assassin's Creed 3 for the Xbox 360 the, the uh, disc 2 multiplayer let's see Nothing's wrong with it. A few minor smudges. Try to put that back. Um, you know what? I'll just move it out to the side. <laughs> Found this Fable 3 disc for the uh, Xbox 360 as well. Same thing with the uh, Assassin's Creed 3. Nothing wrong with it. And of course, everyone's favorite, Connect Adventures. See the games right there? I think that makes like 80, crap, 84, 85 or whatever that I have. And uh, a Wii Resort. I believe the game's in here. No manual. Yeah. Game, no manual. And then this is interesting. Still sealed. Clean, was it Clean DPX? Clean Dr. X, whatever. For Xbox, laser lens cleaner. Yeah. So it's still sealed in plastic, as you can see. And the rest of these right here are just cases and manuals. I believe the one on the very bottom, the NBA 2K13, is just a case. No manual, but no games. Those are the titles. Um, I found this in this baggie just like this one of these power cords for the Nintendo DS I believe and I found this thing in the GameStop bag I mean I, I don't know what the hell this is or what it was for um, at first when I looked in the dumpster and I saw this let me try to open it for you I thought it was like a t-shirt or a banner but I, I got home I looked at it it's it's two straps see this is one strap and this is the other strap tied to this or yeah tied together to this long ass elastic band rubber band thingy so I don't know what the hell this is what it was for it's like some big ass slingshot I think I just found uh, David's uh, slingshot that he used to kill Goliath or some crap but yeah I don't know what that is if you know what it is let me know comment below I have no clue um, some slip sleeve cover thingies here uh, one of my favorite series Metal Gear Solid I believe I found this one before too in the past that one got this one for the Xbox 360 Brink uh, just some random things I found that I thought were cool this little tab advertisement type thing for uh, Mario Kart Wii U coming 2014 this is a card still attached for the uh, it's a GameStop power up card but it's uh, Skylanders Adventure Club probably more than likely does not work this is a Battlefield Bad Company 2 uh, there's a code back here but I believe it's expired already so it's kind of pointless there's the code but if I'm not mistaken it's already expired yeah well you can go ahead and take it if it'll focus. Alright, moving on. <laughs> um, a manual for Star Wars, the Clone Wars uh, for the Wii. And then the uh, insert art for the case. Uh, moving on to here. Found this cool, was it Memorex brand? Charger. Um, I'm guessing for like the Wii. I don't know. Uh, but it's intact, not cut, not damaged found just like this in this uh, Ziploc bag a bunch of these Lego Harry Potter uh, keychain things they're all the same um, character or pictures right there got a bunch of them still with the tags haven't sold any of these so I guess they decided to throw them away um, I found this 
Nintendo 3DS box for uh, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, it's in great shape. Got that. Also right here in this bag is just a bunch of uh, Wii stuff and I found it like in this bag. Just some uh, more Wii steering wheels, a bunch of Wii condoms, some of the cords and stuff. The, um, what is it, this uh, sensor bar thing. Yeah, so basically a bunch of Wii stuff, you know, in this bag. Nothing that you haven't already seen. It's just some random insert art that's uh, stuffed in there. But that's that for uh, this stuff all right here. Now behind me, the posters and a few of the uh, display boxes that I want to show you guys. So let me scoot up here. First up, I got this little little itty bitty poster. It says uh, the Banner Saga. Never heard of that game. It's right there. There is this League of Legends. Let me back up for you. That's kind of cool looking. And it's a poster. I think it's one sided. Yeah. Um, some advertisement stuff. Nothing interesting. Got this um, Killzone uh, Shadowfall. Let's stand it up for you. The uh, display box. I don't think I have this one. So I'm more than likely going to put this together and, or yeah, and prop it up somewhere. So I got that. Another PS4 game uh, display box, uh, Knack. That's probably going to be the next game I buy. I toss this to this side so I can display it soon. PS3 Gran Turismo 6 uh, display box, game display box. I, I got, was it two of these, I think? Destiny display boxes, and they're all in great shape. Nothing's wrong with them. Here, here's the second one. Um, Dead Rising 3 for Xbox One. And like I said, I found this like two weeks ago. It's just been sitting here because I was trying to accumulate more things to make a video. But then I found that massive freaking, see, it's all still up here. The Field Destroy Hall. So I skipped all this stuff and just made the Fuel Destroy Hall video. So Xbox One, Forza 5, Game Display Box. These two Turtle Beach headsets, uh, display boxes. The one that just fell was just the uh, Just Dance 4. Another Just Dance, or Just Dance 2014. Another one of these that I have so many of that you've seen before, NBA 2K14, two of them. Let me let me back up. I got another one of these Batman Arkham Origins uh, posters. Man, I got a crap load of these now. Then I got that PS4 Greatness Awaits. You got a uh, Killzone Shadowfall Season Pass and. The uh, infamous Second Son. Pretty cool. This one's kind of cool. It's got Lightning Returns. Kind of goes with my badass looking freaking um, 3D uh, standy there. So you got that. Let's see. Some of the stuff still has like the double sided tape. Which is really annoying when, whenever they do that. See, this, this one right here is like all damaged. I don't know what the hell this is for. Oh, Turtle Beach. Yeah, not important. I don't care about that one. I don't know what the hell that is for. <laughs> Some kind of advertisement for something. Oh, and then Thief. Back up a little bit. Cool poster for the Thief. And that's like on the other side of my uh, standee. I got the uh, Final Fantasy on that side. And right behind her is the uh, thief uh, part of the standee. So we got the thief poster. Let's see. It's stuck to like this Xbox One poster. That's fine. 
Another boring NBA 2K14 one. Another Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I have so many of these now. Um, this one's kind of cool. It just has uh, Killzone Shadowfall Season Pass on it. This one is also cool. Titanfall. I have a few of these already. Another Destiny poster. Um, this one's interesting. It has Mario Mario Party Island Tour, and then Brave the Default. I think I have I have two like this that I found in recent or past finds. And then behind it is this one that has a a bunch of um, Wii games, Mario 3D World. The Olympic Winter Games, Sochi 2014, Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze. And then this one, I believe that's, or there's one more after this. One more, I think. Titanfall on this side, Xbox One. And then some Xbox One advertisement posters, some for the PS4. And that's it. So that is everything. Um, like I said, I found this stuff freaking it's been over two weeks now. It's just been sitting here downstairs in the uh, dungeon. A lot, of the, a lot of the posters that I have I found before. A few of them are new but um, for the most part I have like triples and doubles and whatever. So let me know if you're interested in anything. Dumpster finds wise, you know. Hit me up. I'm still working on the other, the other Turtle Beach headsets. I'll let you know how that goes if I'm actually able to get them working. Uh, cross your fingers, cross your toes. But uh, yeah, until then, guys, stay tuned for more uh, videos. Um, I think I might have some time to go down tonight, see if they threw away some cool stuff, save some things. But until then, please like. Comment and subscribe. Let me know. Let blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Again, if you're interested in anything, uh, you have to PM me your uh, address so I can send you some stuff. I've been getting requests for things, and I respond back, telling uh, these YouTubers to send me their um, email ad or you know address or their address, so I can send the stuff they ask about. But I never hear back from them, and then. Later on in another video, I'll, I'll get another request from the same person, but I, I don't get anything in my PM, my inbox, you know, for an address. So I can't send you anything if you don't send me your address, you know. You can ask and ask and ask, which is cool, I don't mind, you know, because a lot of times I do send stuff off for free. But if you keep asking and you don't send me your address like I keep responding and, and telling you to, then I, I don't think I, there's no way you're going to get this stuff. But, uh, I do want to share this stuff with you guys. That's why I say send me your address. Let me know what you're interested in. We'll see what we can work out. A lot of times, I will just send it off for free. But, uh, yeah. So go ahead. Do that if you're interested in any of this stuff. Again, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much for everyone that's been watching, subscribing, commenting to all my subscribers. Um... A middle finger to all the haters and YouTube trolls. You know who you are. But, uh, yeah, guys, take it easy. Stay tuned for more videos, and I will see you in the next video.